In this video, we will see how to create a bubble chart in Tableau. A bubble chart is a variation of scatter plot. In scatter plot, basically, we compare two different numerical variables in the column and row shelf. That is basically x and y axis. And using the bubble chart also, we are going to do the similar thing. But the difference between bubble chart and scatter plot is that in bubble chart, we can add additional measures to visualize on the bubble chart. So here we will see how the sales is affected by discount for every subcategory. First, we will try to plot that and then we will introduce profit contributed by each subcategory into the same graph. So we will see discount, total sales and profit contributed by each subcategory and we will see how that visualization will appear and we will try to interpret the visualization as well. So we will hide the caption and we are going to compare the discount value we will put in the column that is basically x axis with the total sales value that is sales now we have got a simple scatter plot with the total sales and total discount value provided by the uh, superstore now we want to see how each subcategory contributes towards the discount and sales. So we'll drag the subcategory and use it on the details card. Now we can see that as the discount value increases, the sales also increases. That is, if we are providing more discount, automatically sales is increasing. And now we want to introduce the profit, total profit earned by each subcategory into this chart. Now that time this chart will act like a bubble chart. That is the bubble size will represent the magnitude of profit earned by each subcategory. For that, we are going to use the profit measure and dragging onto the size mark. Now we can see that the size of each mark on the or the bubble on the bubble chart is varying based upon the value of the profit. This subcategory which is copier, the profit is 55,618. Similarly, if I go up, the profit is 30,222 and the smaller bubble is having a lesser profit. And now, uh, in order to come, I'm also trying to introduce one more dimension into this bubble chart. So we'll see the category and sorry, we'll take the category and use it on the color marks card. And now we can see that the different category, the subcategory and sales contributed by sales contributed by each subcategory the discount value provided to each subcategory and the total profit earned by each subcategory as well as the category now if we only want to see a particular category from the bubble chart we can click on this legend and now i only wanted to analyze the furniture category and this this blue highlighted values corresponds to the furniture category and now Otherwise, if I wanted to see the office supplies category, I can click on the office supplies or similarly technology. Also, we can edit the label and marks depending upon our requirement. So in the label, I will be using the uh, sum of profit. Also, we can edit the uh, label that is sum of profit that is profit. So, yeah, apply. Now we can see the profit. Also, we can introduce sales and discount value if necessary, depending upon our requirement. Also, in the tooltip, also we can edit the tooltip based on our requirement, or even we can hide the tooltip if the tooltip is not required. And if we are already showing all the dimensions and measures in the label, it is not required that no, sorry, it is not required to show the tooltip. But the best practice is, is to show minimal labels and if we want to include more labels as dimensions and measures, it is better to use to. So this is how we create a bubble chart in W. Also, there are multiple variations of bubble chart we can see in another video. Thank you.